Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I have kind of an exciting online haul from MakeupRevolutionUSA.com. I love Re uh, Makeup Revolution products. Um, I've used a few of their products, um, which I picked up at Ulta when I was in the States. And um, uh, yeah, I, I, shipping from Ulta is rather expensive. Um, you have to pay the duties and tax and shipping and everything. There is a couple of places where you can buy Makeup Revolution online. There's orabel.ca, O-R-A-B-E-L, or I think well.ca also sells them. And um, if you're out Western Canada, I think London Drugs um, sells them also. Um, but I found um, that uh, when I order from this Makeup Revolution USA site, uh, they have uh, free shipping if you spend more than 50 US dollars to Canada, or if you don't spend quite that much, you only have to pay $6.95 for shipping. So I spent about $61 and that included shipping. I didn't have to pay any duties or tax. So um, to me, that's about the best deal going right now. If you want to make a revolution ship to Canada is this Make a Revolution USA site. Um, so yeah, $6.95 shipping to Canada is, is pretty good. Um, uh, and yeah, no, duty, no duties or tax. They sent us in this package, beautiful gold. They had each individual item um, uh, bubble wrapped and then they had bubble wrap over that. So it was packaged very, very well. So the first thing I got um, was this um, Reloaded Iconic Vitality Palette. And this was only $7 US. And a lot of people compare this to the Modern Renaissance Palette. So I'll just compare the two. And I've seen, um, I think Emily Noel and a few other YouTubers um, did looks with this and they were really impressed with the quality. Whoops, there goes my, uh... anyway, you can see the, the difference in the colors. Um... Oops, where'd it go? Where'd my brush go? Anyway, but they do, um, they are very nicely pigmented. And, uh, yeah, and I really like those colors. They're, they're just so pretty. And then um, I got this other eyeshadow palette. It was on for half price, so it was uh, $4 US. I'll just say all US prices and just add a dollar or two on to Canadian. But this one's really fun. You just kind of tilt it there and it changes. And this is a hashtag um, Slay palette. And, oops, which way to open it here. And this is just a smaller uh, palette and it has the names on this plastic overlay. And um, they're, they're much smaller, these uh, colors, um, but actually they do swatch quite nicely. Um, yeah, I, I really, am impressed when I swatch them. Uh, it's going to be a different story on the eyes maybe, but um, they're uh, not a lot of eye, they're not very big eyeshadows, but um, I mean, I never go through an eyeshadow. I got so many palettes, I'll never use them up, so it doesn't matter how big they are. But I mean, for $4, you get um, about, what, 10 colors or so, and uh, kind of those earthy tones that I like. Um, and it's got a mirror with it. And they also um, had a travel size uh, eyeshadow primer with this um, this palette. And then uh, I was quite excited about this. I've always wanted this one. And this is the um, highlighter. And this is Goddess of Faith. And it's a baked highlighter. And uh, a lot of the Makeup Revolution have the packaging. They kind of rip off the packaging of other companies, but they. Um, and this one is, like I said, in Goddess of Faith, and it's just a beautiful champagne-y color. And uh, I'm not working with natural light, so I don't know how much this will show up. Uh, but, oh, it is so nice. I don't think this camera's doing it much justice, or this lighting's doing it much justice, but it's really, really pretty. Um, it's almost like a wet kind of look. Um, it's not powdery, it's more just like this wet champagne-y look, which is really, really pretty. 
And then I'll, YouTube's been raving about this uh, Conceal and Define concealer from Makeup Revolution. And uh, they've been comparing it a lot to the Shape Tape. I think it has a different formula than Shape Tape. I find Shape Tape by Tarte um, drying and I really have to moisturize well under my eyes. Sometimes I even use a silicone primer under my eyes just so it'll go on a little bit better, not so dry. I find this one much more moisturizing, more emollient, um, not as cakey. Um, I got the color C4 which is um, uh, kind of pink undertone based. Haven't used it yet. Has the big doe foot applicator. Um, but yeah, it just putting it on my hand, it just is so much smoother and moisturizing. And um, yeah, uh, can't wait to use it. Um, it's supposed to be pretty good coverage. So uh, we'll see if it's as good as my Maybelline Adri Wine. That's my favorite concealer. So, But right now, just swatching it, it just feels very smooth and um, doesn't cake up at all. So I uh, have high hopes for that one. And then I got this Light and Glow Chocolate Bar Powder Highlight Duo. And I just love the packaging. And this is, I think there's a different, couple of different colors um, that you could get with this. I think there's maybe a bronzer that had this. And it's got a mirror and then it's got this little imprint on these two highlighters. So this is a pinky tone and this is more like a pearly champagne kind of color. Oh, that's awkward. But they're a little bit more powdery than that Goddess of Faith one, but if you kind of buff it in, it gets rid of that powderiness, and it's actually quite, quite pretty colors. And then, um, oh, one last thing is the Brow Pomade. With a double-ended brush and I got this in taupe and Emily Noel has used this and she really likes it it's she says it's not overly dry it's not overly creamy it's got the double-ended little uh, brush and again this isn't just in the color taupe and yeah I really neglect my eyebrows I forget they're there half the time um, but I should pay a little more attention to them um, so anyway yeah uh, so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, and I can't wait to use this stuff. And so, yeah, if you if you are Canadian and you want to get hold of Makeup Revolution products, try this uh, uh, RevolutionUSA.com site. Like I said, even if it's under fifty dollars US, you only have to pay six ninety five for shipping. I didn't pay duties or tax, um, so. Uh, I've been looking to get some more Makeup Revolution products and um, I'm, I'm glad I found this site um, because yeah, the sh shipping to Canada and duties and tax can really add up and sometimes just not worth it, but I'm really happy with what I got and the price I paid. So anyway, um, if you tried any of, the, any of these products, uh, let me know how you do like them. And anyway, that's it. So everyone take care and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.